welcome to the Marley Bird YouTube channel brought to you by Red Heart Yarns. In this video, I am going to liberate you from that dreaded cable needle. That's right, I'm gonna show you how to cable both right-leaning and left-leaning cables without a cable needle. Let's go ahead and jump in. I've gone ahead and I've worked up a swatch right here with some cables already done in it and I'm ready to work some more cables. So I am working with four stitch cables for this example, but it does work over a multiple of stitches, whatever you end up feeling comfortable with. When we do cable stitches, we all know that we are deciding whether we move the first two stitches either to the back or to the front of our work so that way we can work the next two set of stitches, correct? When we cable without a cable needle, we are more concerned with what are these second set of stitches doing? Where do they need to go? Because that's where we need to move them. For this first example, let's go ahead and make a right-leaning cable. So what we would do for a right-leaning cable typically is take our cable needle, slip those two stitches onto the cable needle, hold them to the back, correct? What I want to do without a cable needle is take my right-hand needle, come to the front of the cable and place my right hand needle through those two stitches. Now I'm going to kind of pinch the two stitches that I'm not working into, okay? So the set of stitches on this side that I would typically have to my cable needle, I'm just kind of pinching them. Now I want to take my left hand needle out of all four stitches. You see that? So all four stitches. I take my left hand needle and I place it back into those first two stitches I had pinched. Now I still have the second set of stitches on my right hand needle, but they are no longer attached to the left hand needle. So I move them forward, swing them over, and place them back onto my left hand needle. So I've essentially switched their position without a cable needle. Now all I do to complete my cable is knit. I don't have to do anything else. I don't have to worry about a cable needle. I simply just knit these stitches as they're on my left hand needle. Isn't that easy? Let's go ahead and learn how to do that for the left leaning cable. I'm to the next part of my swatch where I will do a cable and even though these are leaning to the right, I'm going to show you how to do this so they're leaning to the left. If we were making this to where they were leaning to the left and using a cable needle, we would move these first two stitches to the cable needle and hold them to the front. But because we're doing it without a cable needle, we're concerned about what these stitches are doing. So these stitches need to go behind these two, correct? So I will take my right hand needle, just like before but this time I'm going behind and grabbing those stitches from the back. I still pinch those first two stitches, pull my left hand needle out of all four of them, place my left hand needle back into those two stitches that I pinched, and now I'll take these two stitches that were attached to the left that I put my right hand needle through, bring them around, place them back onto my left hand needle, and now they have switched position and I can knit them and create my cable. It is that easy, okay? It's really not a difficult task to do. Once you get the hang of it, you will see that you will never need a cable needle again. You can use this technique over any number of cable stitches that you feel comfortable with. As long as you feel like you can pinch all those loose stitches and get your left hand needle back into them, the sky's the limit. I will caution you, using this technique with slippery yarn isn't for the faint of heart because those pinch stitches want to just fade away, but if you are confident, you can do this. Now, you no longer have to search for that cable needle all the time. You can tackle any sort of cable project. This works, I find that this works really great with the honeycomb because you're just doing such few stitches every time and you don't have to use your cable needle. Hopefully this helps you on your next cable project. I'm Marley Bird, proud spokesperson for Red Heart Yarns, and you can find more videos teaching you how to become a better knitter or crocheter right here on the Marley Bird YouTube channel. Make sure you smash that like button. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.